Hi, I'm Vivian and I'm Caro and we are the duo behind the Instagram account Between Beauty. Um, Makeup Forever invited us here today to do a um, Halloween makeup look, but we are not exactly sure what the theme will be. Let's find out, shall we? Party in space. Mm -hmm. Wow, nice. What should we do? I have a little bit of a darker vibe today, mm -hmm. so we can do something Contrasting, right? Contrasting is well. something that will correspond, something maybe robotic mm -hmm. and fairy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, think I that love that. Good. Um, should we check out the makeup products? Let's do it. First, we are going to use the Fresh Brightener Primer. I'm gonna keep it to the high areas. Well, I'm going face. for all over glow. Okay. I'm just going well. Then I'm going to move on to finishing up my complexion. So I'm going to use the Watertone foundation in the shade 25. I'm going to be using the shade 218. So at the very end, I like to put it in with my fingers just to make sure it sinks into uh, my skin and it looks um, even more natural. So I'm going to use the um, Ultra HD Concealer to cover up some scarring that I have there and just any imperfections that I need to hide. What imperfections? Normally I would use my fingers to apply concealer but I'm gonna go ahead and be really precise using this really flat brush. Nice. Cool, so I think I'm gonna move on to powder because I'm done with the concealer. And how are you doing? I need a little bit more time on this one, but I'm gonna catch up. Cool. So um, I'm gonna set my foundation and concealer, everything that I just did, um, with this Ultra HD setting powder. So this is just um, a loose transparent powder that won't add any coverage to the makeup. It's just going to set everything in place and prevent me from getting too shiny throughout the day. So I'm gonna pick up a bit of the powder on my brush, top of the excess, and I'm going to lightly dust it um, over the areas that I don't want to get shiny. And add some dimension to our face, uh, and a little bit of blush. Um, Not a little bit in my case, I'm adding love. actually a lot. I know you. Yeah. She's gonna use a lot of blush. I'm starting with this Artist Face Color blush, this really um, pastel pink shade. And I'm using this um, angled, quite dense brush just because it's good for packing on the color and I really want it to look intense because it is a party in space, right? So we don't want to look intense. We don't want to look extra. normal. Exactly. So I'm going to... I'm gonna use the same palette, um, but I'm gonna dive in to use the contouring shade. And I feel like I'm gonna distribute it with the wider brush. All right, so I like how this is looking. I think I'm gonna I'll add even more blush. I'm still, still playing with the with bronzer. Mm -hmm. For the blush, I think I'm going with the cream product. I'm gonna use this shade right here. What do you think? You know, the more blush, the more I love it. Yeah, just keep going. I want yeah. to see some contrasting color to it. Yeah. Do you have something in mind already or...? Yes, exactly. That's what I wanted to start with now. For this, I think I'm gonna go um, with this um, blue eyeshadow here. I'm gonna mix the blue with this natural cream eyeshadow. The more of the bright shade. So I'm going to map out the shade of my contour. I'm gonna draw a line here, starting at the temple. So I saw on your sketch um, that you wanted to have this lifted brow look, right? Yeah. Is that what you're going for? I would love to change my features in that way, because mm -hmm. I saw you go for a bleach look. Yeah, I'm doing bleach brows. I still want to make this look a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking to add a little bit more stretch to it, add a little flick that I could achieve by drawing single hair strokes with a, with a defined pencil. I'm gonna use Aqua Resist Brow Definer to achieve that. So while you're doing that, I think I'm gonna continue with the blue. 
I'm just going to apply it on my eyelids. I'm gonna map out a bit of a contour that um, is going to help with something that I'm gonna do later. So I'm just doing the same on the other side here. Just blending it out a bit. Isn't it enough or should I go bolder? With the brows? Yeah. I think it's good. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it looks. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm going in with the pencil, drawing the line upwards above my crease. And I'm gonna lead it up to my brow. So I have this first little circle done oh. and I wanna continue with the same theme. How are your brows going? I think I'm done with them. Nice. I'm gonna use Artist Color Pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. I'm going to be using Aqua Seal. It's a waterproof liquid converter, so it's going to transfer powder product into liquid liner. It's the first time I'm using it actually, so yeah, very nice. excited. I've always wanted to try it. I actually haven't seen um, how it works in real life before, so let's, let's see. see. So I'm quite happy with um, my lines. I think they turned out quite well. And I'm gonna move on to the next element of my look. I really wanted to do um, fake bleach brows for this one. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take concealer on an eyebrow spoolie, like so. And I'm going to brush my brows. I'm gonna start by brushing against the direction of the hairs, just to coat them. So I actually started doing my lips already. Um, I'm using the multi-use matte pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut, just because I have so many colors on my face already. I wanna stick with something neutral for my lips, so I'm just gonna line them with the pencil here. So now I'm gonna tap some translucent powder onto my lips to make sure that this cream product won't move, won't bleach, as again, it's really dark. I'm gonna follow the lip liner with the Ultra HD Lip Booster Serum in the shade 00. It's just a clear lip gloss. I wanna put that on top. So first I'm gonna outline my lips with Artist Color Pencil in shade Boundless Blue, and then I'm gonna follow up to fill it with Rouge Artist Lipstick in shade Brave Blue. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this clear gloss. What was left over from my lips, I'm gonna dab it right here as a highlight for a bit of a glossy look. Just because I put on so many powder products here, it looks quite matte and I wanna bring the glow back to my face, so. Just dab again on here, under the line. I'm gonna follow up with some lipstick on top. Hmm, that should do it. What? Yeah, it looks great. Cool, so I think we can both move on to the very last cherry on top. Very of, favorite part. Oh, our both looks. We actually use, uh, uh, use it quite a lot in many of our makeup looks. Um, and it's rhinestone gems. Yeah, I, I want to use a similar placement. Exactly. Not the same, but similar. I'm gonna coat my lashes with a little bit of mascara. It's Aqua Smoky Extravagant Mascara. Yeah, I think I'm done. How about you? Me too. Nice. Look at us. Perfect. We are ready for um, a party in space. Which planet should we go to? Venus, definitely. Venus, I know, that's the one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe follow up with some of our tips mm -hmm. and recreate the looks and see how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for spending this time with us and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, I think we can say goodbye now. And we can head on to our space party. Exactly, can't wait. <laughs> Bye. Ciao.